Hey guys, doing a review and unboxing of Earthrise Ironhide here. Got a really nice look at him on the box. The box art on this was pretty great. Um, nice look on the back at what we're in for. I already did Prowl, so definitely check that out if you like. So not, not a whole lot to go over on the box, so let me uh, crack it open here and see what we get. Alright, so here he comes. Ooh. Out of the packaging, got uh, stuff here. It's not really that interesting, and maybe for some people, not not for me. Um, so here he is. He looks awesome right off the bat. Just <laughs> he looks great. Yeah, I don't even tell. I got a big stupid grin on my face right now. I mean, this is as a kid. This this I would have thought this was the perfect the perfect toy. Like he looks he looks the part. Um, way better than the first gen <laughs> Ironhide. If if you had him, you you know you'll know what I'm talking about if you've ever seen him. So let me uh, let me take him out of the packaging here and cut some of these chains that are binding him to his plastic prison, and we'll take a good look at him. All right, here he is out of packaging, and he is fantastic. He is <laughs> exactly what I wanted him to be. Uh, I can picture, well, not picture. I can hear him. As soon as I was getting them out and setting them up like this, I just hear them. Now, I, my Ironhide, Ironhide impression is terrible, but uh, basically you're just like, oh, geez, Prime. Like, I mean, you could just, he's just gritty. And it's crazy because it's just so long of plastic, but it just it just gives off this vibe that he's just just sick of it and just ready to kick some butt. Um, I love the shield. I've never really cared too much about parts forming. It's not an issue for me. Uh, as long as it looks good, when all is said and done, that's really what I care about, and this looks great. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Uh, later on, I will do a comparison between the Siege version and the Earthrise version here. Joints are super stiff, which is nice. One thing I noticed right away was um, the flaps here on the Siege one are just the bane of my existence. Let me grab them here real quick. So this guy, I mean, a good, a stiff breeze will knock these things off, especially when you're going to make sure they're pegged in correctly, and of course now they're not falling off, but, uh, or they are, that's perfect, let's see, if I just put just the slightest bit of pressure on here, let's use my pinky, ta-da, yeah, so, not, not the best, um, a plus, well, you know what, I'm getting ahead of myself, Let's stick with this guy for now. So let's take his shield and his gun. And the gun, I, before I even took it out of the packaging, I was like, wow, that's cool. I love the, the paint on it. It's got the, the gunmetal gray uh, and then black. But it, it's they didn't have to. They didn't have to do it. It would have been fine to just be all black. But it, it's a nice, nice little touch. Uh, and here's the shield. It's gonna be part of his design. I think this goes, yeah. So I don't know. I guess I guess maybe this is the way it's supposed to look when it's being a shield. I suppose, uh, or maybe not. Maybe these things are supposed to be out. Uh, who knows? Either way, uh, very very nice. I like it. And for the old man himself, let's see. Head articulation very stiff. You can do an exorcist. Uh, Let's see. I don't think he's going to look up very much, or at all. Yeah, not really at all. Uh, he can look down, but it's not, not good. I'm 60. Rotation on the arms. Let's see. We got a bicep swivel, 90 degree bend at the elbow, wrist rotation. Same on the other side. Let's see. His shoulders can go up this much. And, yeah, as far as the legs go, uh, more than a full split, which is just painful. Go back pretty good, forward pretty good, kicked his chest out. A nice bend at the knee. Let's do some comparisons with my busted up Siege figure. I do have other versions of this mold, and I'll be... I'll bring them out for comparisons too, and I, I think that the Siege Ironhide is the loosest uh, with these regards to these flaps, but I do, I do enjoy it a lot. 
Let's see, here they are together. And yeah, I mean, adjust the camera a little here. Yeah, they look, they look great. The Siege version is, you know, I know people complained about the, the paint and everything. I, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't really bother me. I, mean, I like it on this character just because he's, he's beat up. He's a soldier. Like he should, he should be a little bit beat up like that. But I did notice right here on the crotch again. Whoa. Little little spot of red paint, not on the Earthrise version, so hmm, losing a, a tiny bit of detail. But he does he does look fantastic. A lot of it looks like it's reuse. Uh, like down here seems to be the same. Now I'm sure there are little differences here and there, like this detailing is slightly different than this detailing. And there's a panel here, whereas this is just flat. So you know, there's slight differences here and there, but. Still got a flap on the side of his leg. Uh, the wheels are the same. You know, it's just reused. It looks like they're stored in the same place. I do I do like that they, they didn't have any bits like that up here. But at the same time, he still does look a little, a little scrawny through the neck area. Although this Earthrise looks a lot better because it's hidden because of the windshield here. Not so much here. I love the windshield wipers. Just, just little touches like that. I did just take it out of the box like this. So, oh, there we go. Maybe it just wasn't transformed correctly. Let's bring in the big guy. Between these guys, again, Earthrise is just crushing it for me. I love it. They're doing such an amazing job with this. The Siege, Siege was fine. I mean, it was great. I still like it. I may hang on to this. I'll, I'll probably end up selling it, but it, it was a great figure. This, but this is what I wanted. You know, I mean, the masterpiece is what I wanted, but for a, a generations, you know, deluxe size, I mean, this is, this is iron high all day, all day long. And I guess all that's the same too. I was thinking his arms look a little beefier here. So in terms of siege and masterpiece, I, they, they hit all the right notes, you know, the, the blocky legs, face, the, the, the van popping through the middle of his chest, they, you know, the the gray at the shoulders, they, they got all the right beats. Uh, just, you know, with a Cybertron space kind of flavor to it. And and that's great. And that's what Siege was supposed to be. Earthrise, on the other hand, gives you more Earth risen stuff. Uh, so, again, that's why this looks so fantastic. I mean, just <laughs> love it. They did such an amazing job. Let's... Uh get this new guy into van mode and we'll see what he looks like. Now I might, I might record the transformation, uh, and then swiftly edit it all out, but I, I'm still going to give it a shot and we'll see how it goes. All right, and here we've got everybody transformed into their alt mode. We'll start out. Uh, you never get this guy to stay together very well, but here's Siege. And again, for a, a space version of a of a van, okay. Yeah, not bad. Kind of cool. And like all these things up here, they could be blasters. They could be who knows what. And kind of the headlights in here. I mean, it's, it's kind of a cool look. His obvious feet just sticking out of the back. Then we got Earthrise, and let's cover this part up. It's fantastic. You know, looks like a, a an abstract concept of a Nissan Cherry Vanette. Uh, you know, looks good. I like the you know the roof line and everything. But then you get to this, and I can appreciate that they tried to integrate it. You know, like a, a divot right here and all, but yeesh, just terrible. At least right here. The rest of it is awesome. And I don't, I don't like that there's mixing shades of red. Like here's a darker red, here's a brighter red, and then here's like the matte, the muted kind of matte red color that's everywhere else. So, but I do love the yellow stripe. I think the black wheels look great. Um, loving this on the front. Uh, these these are odd, but you know, it's a, it's a toy. It's a, a just a toy. Um, this part's being a little finicky with me, but it goes together a lot better than 
the Earthrise one did. And then for comparison, and got most of the things right, sort of, kind of. I don't know if this is an homage. But again, some things right now, this one loses that entirely. There's no gray up there, but the, uh, this part's great. I mean, that's awesome. The wipers are going different ways. Loving the face in there. So yeah, that's a pretty good comparison there. And then um, bring in the other two molds I have of this for Siege. Uh, this is pretty much strictly a repaint of this uh, down to the bumper and everything. Um, but he's fine. And Ratchet, which is at least a little different. The front bumper's a bit different. Uh, this part here is different. Uh, so he's a little, he's weathered, but he's just dirty looking. He doesn't look scratched or beat up. Um, and, you know, the nice blue tint. So Ratchet's still looking pretty good. Let me, uh, let me grab some of the other Earthrise that I've got. And we'll just kind of throw them all in here in a big comparison. All right. So I grabbed everybody from Earthrise that I have opened at the moment, and I grabbed a couple of Siege people just to throw in for comparison's sake. I'm going to try to start doing this more often, I guess, because I always like seeing comparisons, so I'm hoping everyone else does too. So we got Ironhide here, and then bo both versions along with Siege Prime. I do have Earthrise Prime. Just uh, haven't gotten them out yet. I think that's going to be my next video. So, And since technically Astro Train was part of Earthrise and Siege, this one actually came in the Siege packaging. I thought I'd put him in there too. And then a couple of other Siege people that I have just for size comparison, uh, Ultra Magnus. Jetfire, Skyfire, I forget what he's called, and uh, the Refractor 3-pack that was the SDCC exclusive, I think, and way in the back with the Masterpiece, because again, it's not really in the same scale as these other things, so yeah, Ironhide seems like he scales up pretty well with the rest of the Earthrise, obviously, and somehow I've misplaced Blue Streak already, uh, and with the Siege line, uh, but again, I I think I'm probably leaning more towards, you know, I prefer Earthrise, so I'm thinking I'll probably, you know, lose Ironhide and, and these guys, and probably Optimus when I get the new one, but uh, when I open the new one, but that's really going to depend on how much I like them, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like them more. So uh, let me put everybody back into robot mode and go over some final thoughts. All right, so I've got everybody back into robot mode, and which again, just tried to get some people together for a, a size comparison. So uh, using just Siege and Earth, Earthrise, excuse me. Here we've got Ironhide, front and center. Um, Siege, Ironhide, right next to him. Uh, Prowl, because he came with him in the pack. The Refractors, Smokescreen, Wheeljack, Hoist, Astrotrain, Masterpiece, Ironhide, Ultra Magnus, Prime, Crosshair, I think, I always forget his name, Ratchet, Jetfire at the back, and uh, Kremzeek, hiding out down here. So, overall, I think that Earthrise, Ironhide is a big, big improvement over Siege. Siege is a great figure, nothing wrong with it. I would recommend picking it up, but if you're only going to have one generation scale Ironhide, I definitely think that the Earthrise is the way to go. I don't care about parts forming, so the door doesn't bother, or the roof doesn't bother me. Uh, I think it's just a great figure. It looks the part. Scale-wise, it fits in well with everything else, and it is a great addition to what is becoming an already excellent line. So I strongly would recommend picking up Earthrise Ironhide, and I will see you guys in the next video.